But I would say in John 13, 34, he said, a new commandment that I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to one another. I love you. I love you. I love you. How many times <clears throat> have we say the word I love you? Be honest, how many times? How many times you say the word I love you? You ain't said it enough. If you gotta guess how many times you have said the word I love you in a day. I love you should not just be mentioned on Valentine's Day. But I love you is not just words, it's action. Because anybody can say, I love you, but I love you just not in words, but in truth and deed. See, I love you, he glory to God, is a sign of believers. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I give you a new commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you, that he love one another. See, a lot of people don't have love. They talk love, but don't show love. And Jesus was saying that by this shall all men know that you are my disciple. Hallelujah. That you love one another as I have loved you. And love is not just saying it, but doing it. It's just like the man that was at Jericho Road. The Bible say he was beaten by robbers and was bleeding to death. And two men that was holding titles in church, a Levite and a priest, they was active in the church. But these two men saw the men. It's like a person broke down. He made the car ran out of gas. Or they got a flat tire. How many people on the way to church where they're stopping to help the person he glory to God? But you keep on going and keep on looking back. Keep on looking back, but you didn't stop to help the man that ran the gas or had a flat tire. What's the difference? Because the good Samaritan, the good Samaritan took the chance. Some people say that the robber might be still there. Some of, some of us think that if I help the man, I'm going to get beat up too. But the Bible say, by this shall all men know that you are my disciple if you have love one to another. If you have love one to one another, he glory to God. And that's one thing, my friend. The Bible say they have a form of godliness. If you don't have no love, you have a form of godliness, but denying the power of there are the power is love not just talking the love but showing the love and i'm gonna say this my friend i know a lot of people ain't gonna like me when i say that half of these men that pregnant these women they don't have love because if you have love you would have married her that's number one number two if you don't want to marry her take care of the child Hey man, some of y'all, y'all just dump the child and you and you you a woman gotta chase you down to pay child support. You are dead beat. You didn't have love in the beginning. You have lust. L-U-S-T. And some of y'all mom, y'all trifling too, because you know this man is not gonna is not gonna take care of the child. 
but you sleep with him anyway and have a baby and you think that that man going to keep you because he have a baby. Wrong answer. This man not going to keep you because he pregnated you. He pregnated you, but he's not going to pay for the child that his seed have, have, have produced to make a man or woman child. I'm talking about I love you. It's not just in words. But if somebody in need, we ought to give them necessity. Don't stone go and say, say, go, go be filled and eat. Be warm. Hallelujah. Without providing clothing for them. Without pro providing food for them. Providing shoes for them. And providing shelter for them. Some of y'all have extra room in your house. Your, your room is having dust in it and a bed that nobody sleeps in. And somebody see you homeless, hopeless, helpless, and he's doing help them. I love you. Amen. By you, by you not giving the, the necessity of things to somebody, you don't love them. You carry the Bible, but you're not reading it. You carry the Bible, but you don't understand it. I'm talking about, I love you. I love everyone. Hey, glory to God. Every day I preach on YouTube. I preach on TikTok. Hey, glory to God. I love you. Amen. And I will do anything to help you without cameras. Because the Bible says, my friend, only hypocrites, hey, glory to God, want to be seen of men. I know, I know they pay a lot of money for clicks. People to turn on and see the benevolence that you're doing to people. But you're not, you're not, you're not receiving blessing from God. You're receiving blessing from men. But I love you. How many times have you said within a day, I love you? And I love is not just to someone you know, it's the strangers. And I'm talking about in Matthew, the 25th chapter, Jesus Christ said, the least it done is that these, you have done it unto me. I was hungry, it didn't feed me. I was naked, it didn't close me. I was in, I was in a hospital, I was in prison, you didn't visit me. The least it done one of these, you did it unto me. I love you. Should be, should be, uh, be a thousand times you saying it and doing the necessity because love is action, not sex. Love is sacrifice. You sacrifice to somebody that's poor. Sacrifice somebody who go to God that been put out. Don't take their stuff. What I say? Don't take their stuff. Don't take that television. Don't take that, that dresser. Don't take that chair. Don't take that clothes. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Love. I love you is doing for somebody that can't do for himself. And Jesus Christ said, hallelujah, the least you've done to me, you, you did it unto me. Listen, it's, it's hallelujah, glory to God. My friend, love is sacrifice. Love, if you see a brother hunger, feed him. If you see a brother need clothes, give him the best clothes. Don't give him clothes with holes in it. Don't give him shoes with holes in it. But give him the best. The Bible says, for God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Love is sacrifice. Great love have no man than this. That man lay down his life for his friend. You are my friends. If you do whatsoever I command you, the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and have not charity, I become a silent brass and a timbling cymbal. If you don't have love, you're not a Christian. If you don't have love, you, you, you don't know God. You are, you, you, hallelujah. Because God is love. And you say you're a Christian and you stingy, you mean, you're not a Christian. You're a churchgoer. Church goer, hallelujah, they don't want to do for the poor. Church goer, just go to church, go to church to shout, to speak in tongue, and go home and watch soap opera. But Christian, we help the, the community. We witness the community. 
We feed the community. Hallelujah. We give to the community because we love. We have love and I love you.